Um, I'm Lori Estive and I'm with Sobs, Stories of Babies Born Still, and I have Maximus here with me today. He came over to see the uh, Cenotaph Cradle for the first time. His mom had contacted me to let me know that she, he was going to be doing a school project, and when I heard about it, I just knew that we had to find out more information. I'll let Maximus fill us in a little bit. So how old are you? I'm 14. Awesome. So tell me about your project. Well, um, we're supposed to uh, help the community in some way without using money from our own pocket. And um, it's due in April. First year that you've done this project? It is, uh, second year. What did you do the year before? I helped a church that burned down. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I also heard along the grapevine somewhere that you made jam to sell for your mom, to get a Mother's Day gift for your mom. Yes, ma'am. Before, um, yeah, I, it was a couple of years that ago. That is amazing. So that we is amazing. raised some money from that. Yeah. So tell me, why did you decide you wanted to raise money for a cradle? I guess the subject was near and dear my heart. My brother, he's turning 10 and on November 14th. And he was still born? He was still born. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, do you remember your mom being pregnant with him? Um, not really. I was three. I think. Right. I only remember a little bit of it. A few days and everything. Mm -hmm. You're raising money for um, the cradle. How do you? How are you going to plan on doing that? Well, um, we are going to start a 5K to raise the money. Okay. We have a GoFundMe account set up. Awesome. So, um, so people that want to donate now can donate to the GoFundMe, and, and you're trying. You're planning on doing a 5K. Do you have a, a location or anything yet? Or um, not really. Right. We're just still planning. On okay. So it would be great if we could get somebody who would donate a venue, some space. If you have a you know, a field, something like that, um, that we could come and have his event for the 5K and help him raise some money for these cradles. And you wanted to try and do more than one and sure. kind of outfit a few of the hospitals in this area. Well, my goal was $50,000 to That's raise. So um, we could buy as much as we get, I guess. So we also have Diana here today this, with us. This is Maximus's mom. Um, and I've been friends with her for a while on Facebook. We met, um, through sobs and sisters in sorrow, and so um, you should, are, you're awesomely really proud of what he's planning to do here. I am. I am. It's a uh, big goal, and I think he certainly can do it. We're in the beginning stages, but uh, so tell me about some of the plans, like what what you were like hoping to do for. Well, we were hoping to uh, raise money on the GoFundMe uh, project gift of uh, precious time, and on the actual uh, unit, we were hoping to you know, have a, a plate on the side um, stating, you know, you are not alone and have 25 slots where for a $250 donation, you can put your, you know, angel baby's name on there in remembrance. And we could have 25 per unit and that would be a great way to raise money. Yeah. And then on the GoFundMe account, we can um, have teams. And, you know, we are Team Xavier. And then if someone else has you know, a child that, you know, they want to remember, then they would be Team Zachary. Yeah. And uh, then, you know, then we can spread more teams and, and get more of a community effort. That's awesome. That's mm -hmm. awesome. I love that idea. So what what is the um, target date? When does this have to be done by? Like, we were hoping for the 5K to be in March. Okay. And uh, the actual project is uh, to be completed by April. Okay. That's great. That's great. Well, I certainly think we can help out with that and make that happen. And I'm so glad you came to talk to me and tell me about this. You're very brave for doing this because like your mom and I know, we're we're the ones that, you know, we're kind of get people to talk about it, but it's going to be your generation who's going to make the actual changes. We're just getting yeah. people to listen. So, you know, you being so young and, and mm -hmm. doing this is just like an amazing thing. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you. So I appreciate them. And um, if you want more information, I'm going to put into in, uh, the comments the link to the GoFundMe. And as we get more information on the um, event itself, we'll be sharing that information. And again, anybody out there who would like to help us out with refreshments, with any kind of venue, any space, any um, recommendations. I know that there's some of the five Ks are out at the Sun and Fun. We'll keep you posted on that. And again, thank you to Maximus and his mom, Diana.